Hello, we're back. We got some Zald and Kahoot. That's what everybody wanted. That's what the masses were clamoring for. So, Ramsam made it happen. So we're gonna get right to it. Here's the code, baby. Kahoot.it. Um, oh yeah, the uh, the last Kahoot we did on Saturday was Otto's uh, Who's That Enemy Kahoot. It was actually all of the different kind of enemies in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts. Um, you know, Unversed, uh, Dream Eaters, Heartless, they were all in there. Uh, it was it was a doozy. Um, I was I think I got seventh on that one. I was pretty close. Um, oh, your lukewarm Lushu take got red. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. No worries. And listen, it wasn't it wasn't a bad take. It was just you know one that I had uh, definitely heard a couple of times. You know, um, I don't I didn't even necessarily disagree with a lot of it. Um, yeah, it's really a shame that Ramsam made the Kahoot and Ramsam can't participate. Also, I wanted to thank um, Mr. King Jacob for the resub there for four months. Thank you, Mr. King Jacob. And I had a uh, first time chat from Biano121. Welcome, first stream, first star of the stream at least. And I got a pet the presto. KT Bean just sent me a Sora Kahoot, um, all about Sora, but we're so backlogged that we're probably not going to get to it until the last day of May, actually. Um, we have a lot going on, so um, we have uh, we have Clayton trivia <laughs> at some point, also by Ramsam. Uh, so there's just like a ton of stuff to to get to eventually. Um, the next one on Thursday will be David Russell's beginner mode music trivia, Vexen trivia on Friday, by the way. So a little of a programming note: I will not be streaming on Saturday. Instead, I'll be doing FF10 Friday at six. And that's not very useful for the Europeans, but uh, I figure that's probably going to be my best um, makeup option there. Tyler Wallace gave us an odd one out Kahoot. Like, uh, one of these things is not like the other three. That's sort of, that's like the theme there. That's going to be uh, a week from today. So that's our forecast for future Kahoots. <coughs> yeah, when's Power Wild trivia? All about the Power Wild Heartless. Um, yeah, Gavak can't wait for Vex and Trivia. By the way, drink of the day is Orange Aid from Turkey Hill. It's, I feel like I'm like on a like an infomercial. Like, what's that? I was gonna say CQC. That's Solid Snake's uh, close quarter combat. CVC, C CCV. What's that thing with the the channel where all the all the jewelry and appliances get sold? Ah, uh, yeah, sponsored. Sponsored by uh, Orange Aid. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Jerry, that guy, who? Yeah, I can't wait for that one. No Lark scene. QVC. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Thank you. Thank you, Ash, the Envy, and Rachel Penn. Um... <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Barnabas. That's for the that's for the fifty dollar patrons. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, CVS, yeah, that was the one. You go to CVS. Oh, it's KFC. I was thinking of, yeah. But yeah, no Lark Seen Kahoot yet. Daybreak. We're up to Lexius, I think. I don't think we have any after Lexius. Lexius is scheduled for Tuesday, May tenth, <laughs> by Recruit of Apollo. So we still need uh, Zexian trivia. You know, I prefer to go in order if we can, because um, we have been going in order up until this point. So, <laughs> listen, I just Barnabas, you know, bought it with the two thousand Presto points. Um, SDG? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Um, there are QVC bloopers, I had no idea. <laughs> Is that the official, uh, acronym for, not acronym, I guess, uh, initialism for the sea salts? You always, you see SDG and TVA a lot, but you never see RAX, at least I never do. Um, I feel like there's, uh, or ARX, rather. Um, good, I'm glad. Kiwi's here. Uh, <laughs> we're just, like, all naming three-letter initialisms now. Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, the per se. Yeah, I gotta get back to you on that article. I apologize. Um, I would say maybe if you could truncate it to be like fifteen, just so I could do a double feature with it. Um, it probably obviously wouldn't be until June. I think that one. But wouldn't that be like the anniversary of when I stopped playing Persona Five on stream? <coughs> Rex sounds like an airport. Um, hello, as as Mus uh, as as Mus Nunes. Hello, sorry, I butchered that for a sec there. Bell o Kiwi. Kiwi. <laughs> Um, we'll get started at 6... 6.10. Give it two more minutes. Boom, 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 boom. All Clayton all the time, baby. My name is Clayton, and you're watching the Disney Channel. But he uses, like, a shotgun to draw the little Mickey Mouse head. Um, 
Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, like you were saying, I think a double feature for a, a Persona who <coughs> only about the parts of it that I've played, that could be uh, interesting. We'll probably like lead with a Kingdom Hearts themed one and then, uh, you know, do a bonus Persona one. Um, I have played Persona 5 on stream, but I, I stopped because um, it was really difficult <laughs> to stream, to be honest. Um, so, uh, the PSSAs? Oh my god. You would have probably just taken it yourself. Really? I think I, I think uh, if I were, you know, in a teaching or like an educational position, my favorite days would be proctoring days. I would just kind of chill. Uh, but maybe it's more annoying and complicated than I imagine. What's up, Lingual Logic? Yeah, I tried. Sorry. <laughs> He shoots holes to make them. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Uh, boom, boom. What's up, Briny? A temp AP proctoring job. Yeah, I would, I would just think that you would sit because whenever I was taking, uh, you know, like a standardized test thing, like the, uh, I never took the uh, SATs. I took the ACTs, and there were there were some because uh, I went to private school, so like it wasn't like the whole end of the year was like standardized tests, but there were like certain things where we had to like, you know, do the fill in bubbles while we were in like middle school. Um, I guess the PSATs were in high school. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was just like everyone's at a desk all spread apart in the gym. And then there was someone at a table at the front just kind of like chilling, doing their own work. Um, there is a Kahoot on Donald and Goofy, actually. That was also sent to me today. Um, that one's going to be scheduled for Saturday, May 28th. That was by Fruitune. <coughs> Real quick, I'll just run through what we have here. Zaldin, Cage Music Beginner Mode, Vexen, Odd One Out, Cage Four tra uh, Trailer, Cage Quotes, Lexius Trivia, Disney Trivia, 2.8 Trivia, The Price is Right, Kingdom Hearts Edition, Cage General Trivia Part 6, The Cage 2 Brady Games Strategy Guide Trivia, Clayton Trivia, um, General Trivia Easy Mode, that's by Oracle, uh, Donald and Goofy by Fruitoon, Sora Trivia by Bean, and then we have the FF10 Trivia by Milana, which will probably be somewhere ahead of a lot of those if we finish FF10 soonish. I would I would assume we would get to that one in May for sure. But that's your that's everything I've had submitted to me so far on the sheet. So, also if you'd like to check it out for yourself, if you want to make a Kahoot or you just want to play some old ones, you go to my Discord channel. There's a Kahoot. Um, my Discord server. There's a Kahoot channel there. Um, it's like towards the top of the list, and then you could actually see everything that's scheduled and everything that we've already played on stream. And you can actually see the leaderboard and what everybody um, scored on there, at least the top five. Um, so a lot of a lot of cool stuff there. All right. Well, it's six eleven, so I'm a big liar, but we'll get started now. Yeah, you want a cake? Let's get cake. <laughs> I have an announcement to make. I'm fed cake. up with this world. <laughs> All right. Um, where's uh, where's uh, Vaka? Vaka, where are you? Where are you, Vodka? Where's your emoji name emoji? Is this supposed to be you? Oh, it's Alden Who. There. <laughs> there. The purple hearts blended in. I didn't even notice. Okay. There you go. All right, folks. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a manga Kahoot. Listen, I'm willing to do it. So, Kahoot about the chat. Like, who's Regular Pat's favorite member of the chat? And you just, all you gotta do to figure that out is you go to most uh, all time top gifters. So, it'd be, in this case, it would be Green the Goblin. <laughs> There you go. Um, all right, let's see. Let me punch my code in. I'm never prepared. I like. I know I'm gonna play Kahoot, and then every time I have to type it in on my phone because I close it when I'm done. <coughs> uh, Silver awesome guy. I mean, definitely. Like, listen. If if you have the diamond by your name, you've definitely you're, you're making a case for yourself. You know, diamond or sword for sure. Um, all right. Let me punch the code in. If you're just joining, two 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 eight zero nine two Kahoot dot it. Um, quote code will also be in the bottom right of the stream when we get started. I guess I'll be wind, Patty. Wind, God. There you go. All right, let's go. Zaldin Kahoot by Aram. Oh, you know what? I didn't check the settings. I almost fucked us. <laughs> we gotta randomize. I'll keep the questions. I like to keep the questions normal nowadays, and I randomize the answers. Um, but there you go. Good thing I checked. Boom. All right, now we're ready to go. Zora. <laughs> Number one, Zalda Nikahu. 25 or 6, I believe I saw. 26 questions about this man. In the credits of BBS, Dylan is shown. Um, guarding the castle with Alias, fighting unversed outside the castle, tossing Issa and Lee outside the castle, or gathering Terranort's armor, and I think I fucked this. Also, he's bisexualing maliciously at us. Um, I think I might have, 
yeah, because the credits and blank points are different. Yeah. Oh, I was like, because I know that Bragg says, Dylan, could you get that for me? And he's talking about Terranort's armor. Um, but that's not the credits. That's blank points, I think. And so in the credits, like literally when the words are going on the screen, I think there's like a box and you can see Dylan tossing Ice and Lee out of the castle. So, oops. Um, I'm in 68th. Tied with Gorilla 54. We got the Great Fruitoon. We got Vodka. We got Big Stick and Ember and John C. Just John C. Uh, number two. Zoldan famously tells Roxanne we're not alone as this character passes by. Famously. <laughs> How dare you say famously. Uh, Mrs. Potts, Beast, Cogsworth, or Lumiere. If it happened in days, then you can't you can't apply the adverb famously. That's that's counterintuitive. Like in recoded famously. What? Famous to who? Um Damn, I knew it was Cogsworth or Lumiere, and I went with Cogsworth. Um shit. Genuinely a meme though. Is it really a meme? I have no idea. If it again, if it's a daze meme, I, I don't know it. So Okay, that's true. Roxas, that's a stick, that's iconic. And I guess like Shion dying or whatever, but what else, you know? <laughs> Alright, I'm in sixty seventh, tied with Alexa Rose. <coughs> Great Fruitoon, Territrius, Zaldun, Sweshy Joe, and Rachel, Rachel Rose. Alright, number three. In his day's journal entry, Zaldun expresses frustration about Not being informed about the replica program, the plan to bring Shion back alive, the mysterious casualties at Castle Oblivion, or the things that cannot be done without a heart. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but I got it! I was lucky! Yeah, I just guessed green. I don't know, it just seemed like he'd be frustrated about... Uh, he's, he's very into, like, the the metaphysics of, like, hearts and nobodies and all that, so that kind of seemed in character for him. Um, so now I'm tied with Bell or Kiwi in 46th place. Look at that. All right, we got the Grapefruit 2 and just crushing it on these Zaldin questions. We got Rachel, Heartstopper. Is that Otto? Otto really would like you to watch Heartstopper on Netflix, by the way. Um, Biana, 121, and Watcher. All right. Number four. Zaldin uses six lances. When fighting, he holds this many at a time. None, two, three, or four. I don't know. Look at this iconic, famous gif of Dylan and Alias. Yeah, define hold. I guess with his hands is what I'm thinking. Uh-huh, sure. Come on, two. Ah, how does he hold three? Does he have two in one hand? That's awkward. I wonder if I can look up a render of him, like in his battle pose. Cage two is all in the render. Let's see. Um, well, none of these poses seem to indicate that he's holding... Oh, you know what? He is. He has, in this pose, he has one in front of him, and then he has two behind his back. So, you can't really see him holding it in that pose itself. Oh, no, in this pose you can. Yeah, see, he definitely does hold three at once. So, look at that. Alright, there you go. One in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Alright, I'm in 49, still tied with Kiwi. <laughs> We got Fruitoon, Just James, Sabney, Rachel Rose, and Otto. Otto, aka Heartstopper, today. Number five. In days, Zaldan says he chose to become a nobody for this reason. Uh. It was the only way to gain true knowledge of the heart, light, and darkness. He wanted to rid himself of human emotions. He was tempted by the darkness. He wanted to test his heart's power. <laughs> the fucking Zaldan chess piece. Oh my god. I, I thought that was going to be a question itself about the Zaldan chess piece somehow. Damn, I really didn't think it was going to be blue. I That was like my last choice, to be honest. Um, I went with green. Um, I didn't think Zoldan really wanted to. I mean, because he was so emotional when he was Dylan, when you see him in uh, in BBS. He's just like fucking crying and he's pissed all the time. Yeah, right, right. Way too emotional. Good call, Dylan. Great choice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, don't be mean about the questions. Uh, Otto in the lead, Magic Flash, Rachel Rose, Biano, Mr. King Jacob. Here we go. Number six. Shaking and crying. <laughs> Rox is over here, Zaldan expressing his disbelief about the Castle Oblivion casualties to... Demic Syx, Zigbar, Luxord. Listen, it's a Zaldan Kahoot, you know? They're not going to be easy. This guy is only in like four scenes. So, what's up, Ruthie? Ruthie. 
Or you will face the consequences. Come on, let's go, Zigbar. Fuck, Demix, really? Demix and Zaldan just chilling and chatting like the besties that they are. All right, I'm in 53rd behind Dan Bop. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. It's tough for sure. Rachel Rhodes, Great Fruit Tune, Just James, Soweshi Joe, and Hardstop Rado. Number seven. Zaldan's final quote in days, including optional conversation. <laughs> Things have taken a vexing turn of late. How foolish we were to let the keyblade wield uh, how foolish we were to let the keyblade wielder out of our sights that uh, I can't read it all. That took too long. Don't be mad. Ah, oh, man, I went with blue. Uh, I have I have no commentary to add on to this one, so <laughs> it's Zaldin. <laughs> it's Zaldin, folks. Great fruit tune, just James, Rachel Rose, Auto Arch Archstopper, and Loser Barnabas. Alright, number eight. Which statement about Zaldin is false? Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> He's the second member of the organization to be fought by Sora, second highest chair in the round room, does not have any voice lines in the day's movie, or is president when Axel receives Yora to eliminate Roxas. <sighs> the micro machines, man. Ugh! He's voiced in days. Really? I, I had no memory of that. I, I said blue. I guess he is. I fucking, I was like, I feel like someone just said in a Kahoot, not just, but like recently, that his chair is the second highest. And I was like, really? Zaldan? You would think like Zigbar or Syax. Uh, I said Syax again. Syax. Um, yeah. He does not have any voice lines in the days movie, and that's false. He does. That's crazy. Well, three points behind Jesus. Glad you could join us. <laughs> All right, 57th behind Dan Bob. We got Mr. King Jacob, Heartstop Parado, Grapefruit Tune, Magic Flash, and Just James. Number nine. Right when Zaldan hops onto his lances to start his DM in Cage 2 fight, he'll say this You'll wear the face of despair. Come on, Sora or Wind, guard me. I think I got this. Saax? <laughs> That's how you say it. Cowabunga, dudes. He says, let's see how you dance. It's gotta be this, right? No way! He doesn't say we're the face of despair. He just says it's some other thing. Oh my god. I thought that was a, the, the gimme question just there. Yeah, I mean, I think I think they all know Sora's name. If anything, Sora doesn't know their names. Um, damn. Sora! Alright. We got... Brutoon, Rachel, Magic Flash, Mr. King Jacob, and hmm, darkness. I'm at 57th behind a little happy face. It's a carrot dash carrot, so hope you're happy. Um, Zaldan's organization approved nickname is uh, the Whirlwind Lancer, the Tacticron Stalwart, the Mutton Chopped Menace, or the Soaring Assassin. I think I got this. Yeah, I think I got this. Mutton Chopped Menace. I'm the Martin Chopped Menace. Um, one person said that, though. That's great. Um, yeah, Whirlwind Lancer. Tactic and Stalwart, I believe, is Lexius, I want to say. <coughs> um, Soaring Assassin, entirely made up. Um, assassin would be... Actually, Marluxia is the Graceful Assassin. Um, Axel is the Flurry of Dancing Flames. So, Mr. Gibbs is the Martin Chopped Menace? Oh, my God. Wow. Mr. Gibbs is Alden's dad, confirmed. Um, not all of them know Sora's name. Oh, right. Some of them think he's Roxas. Yeah. Yeah, they're very confused. Sora needs to wear a name tag in Cage, too. <coughs> right, yeah. Alexius used to be Silent Hero. They changed it to Tactic and Stalwart. Okay. Um, Great Fruit Tune, Magic Flash, Mr. King Jacob, Hmm, Darkness, and Heartstopper Auto. And I'm in 52nd behind Shotlock Star, number 11. Finish the sentence accurately. In Cage 2, Zaldan is the only organization member. Um. Fight Sora in Disney World uh, uh, with a boss fight in which Mickey can come to Sora's aid to appear on both visits to a Disney World or capable of being fought without Donald or Goofy in the party. I really had to think about that. 
Come on. Yeah, okay. Because he's yeah, he's the only person in the organization that's that visits the Disney World both times and Bees Castle. Um you technically fight Demix in Underworld. It's not really like a one on one fight, but he is in there. Um yeah, Luxor is not in the first uh Port Royal visit. Um Capable of being fought without Donald or Goofy in the party. No, they're in the party. Um Beast is in there and then Donald or Goofy. Um, and then a boss fight in which Mickey can come to Sora's... Oh, um, Armored Zemnus, actually. You can fight with Mickey. Um, first Armored Zemnus, um, with Don and Goofy with you still. So, yeah. I did forget about that, so I was like, I was between that one, and I was like, well, I know that the yellow one is more true than the blue one, so. But there you go. I'm in 47th behind Daybreak. Um, a Great Fruit Tune, Magic Flash, Mr. King Jacob, Heartstopper Auto, and Loser, Barnabas. What's up, Drink the Jungle Wine? Um, also, see you, Briny. Thanks for stopping in. Number 12. When Zaldan says, it's an order, why do you hesitate? He is speaking to... Uh, Demix, Roxas, Luxord, or Axel? My, my. Um, I think I got this, unless Rompsom is huge-braining me. Bum, 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 bum. Um... Yeah, it's Axel. He's talking about bringing Roxas back, I think. Um, it's like a voice cutscene in two, I think. Um, so there. There you go. Looks like a lot of us got that one. Still in 47th behind Daybreak. No movement there on the leaderboard. Everyone got that. Number 13. Um, Zaldan warns this organization member in the round room that they might share Demix's fate. Xemnas, Zigbar, Luxord, or Syx. And you will share Demix's fate. I think I know. Uh, bow, bow. These are all pretty serious boys here, you know? Yeah. I couldn't see Zaldan saying that to Xemnas or Syx, to be honest. So I was between Zigbar and Luxor, but I just thought... I don't really remember Zaldan and Zigbar like, directly conversing in two. Um, so yeah. I think Luxor says, Sometimes the fun is in not knowing, isn't it? Or maybe that's something else, but... Um, Luxor definitely says that at some point in the round room. Look at him go. Look at him whirl around. Alright. I'm in 42nd behind digging plot holes. We got Fruit 2 and Magic Flash, Mr. King Jacob, Loser Barnabas, and mm, Darkness. 14. Um, in Dylan's first appearance in KH3, he... Um, is standing behind Ienzo when Ienzo calls Sora, Donald, and Goofy. He leads Mickey and Riku through Radiant Garden. He does not appear in KH3, or he awkwardly and silently gazes upon Ansem the Wise's return. <laughs> um, God, look at his luscious locks. I think I have a shot at this one. Yeah, I think I remember it's like a big, like, um, aerial shot, and you can, like, and it, like, comes in on Dylan alias. Maybe just Dylan, I don't know, but he's, like, guiding Riku and Mickey into the, uh, the town square area, I think. Um, he definitely appears, he definitely awkwardly and silently gazes upon Ansem's return, but, uh, not, it's not the first, uh, thing he's in, so. Oh, Red is alias, there you go. Oh, yeah, because Zexian's like, or Yenzo's like, uh, oh, alias, whatever it was between you and Sora, or you and Roxas is in the past, or something like that, which is like, what? I mean, Lexi's decked Roxas in the face, so. Um, but yeah, he is in fact in Cage 3, but you blink and you'll miss him for sure. Um, let's see... Everyone on leaderboard got that. I'm in 32nd behind Owls. That's my peak so far, 32nd. <laughs> Number 15. Zaldan's first words directly to Sora are... Ah, oh, God. When Kingdom Hearts is ours, we can exist fully and completely. So you think, a welcome indeed, or you don't know when to quit. And I don't know. I guessed. And I guessed right, just because it seemed like a boring, Zaldan-ass thing to say, and that's why I picked it. So, what a memorable first line to the hero. Um, I'm in 28th behind Mudkip Man. We got Loser Barnabas moving up and Rachel Rose moving up there. We got Great Fruitoon still in first. Alright. No you. Yeah. <laughs> Number 16. Zaldan notes to Roxas that this is the beast's weakness. <laughs> uh, God... His empathy, the rose, the bell. He is simply too fuzzy. <laughs> what 
Why is Zoldan so awful? He's he's too fuzzy, Roxas. He's too fuzzy. Um, oh good, I got it. <laughs> I was just like, did anybody say that he's too fuzzy? One person. What's up, Keynote? Oh yeah, Keynote, you would have crushed the Zaldan quiz for sure. Um, yeah, the Rose. I was between Bell and the Rose, as one should be. Um, and I went with the Rose. I just don't remember Bell being discussed that much in days, from what I remember of it. Um, and I, I couldn't imagine. Um, Zaldan noting beast empathy, so I went with the rose there. I'm in 24th behind Riku's bugs. That's Silla Blossom Gaia, our very own Silla Blossom. Mickey, we must shave him. <laughs> they put bugs in him. What? Um, yeah. All right, we got Mr. King Jacob moving up to third. A big stick and moving up to fifth. Fruitune still in the lead there. Number 17. Zaldan's limit break ability is called. Oh boy. Mmm. Face of Despair, Lindworm, Dragoon Storm, or Whirlwind Strike. Um, bow, bow. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Someone told me about that fruit tune, the Lexia's puzzle thing. Um, damn, I was so close. I was between Dragoon Storm and Whirlwind Strike. I just, I thought it was a fake thing that Ramasam made up, Dragoon Storm. I want to say Lindworm is one of his weapons. Face of Despair is just uh, what he says in the, in the battle. Um, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm in 26 still behind Riku's Bugs. Um, all right, we got what <laughs> the great Tune, magic flash, Mr. King Jacob, Rachel Rose, Burning Mandala, and we got number eighteen. Zaldan tells Beast that Bell is planning to take all of the following except uh the castle, his life, the rose, his heart. Um. Looks like Zaldan's giving out some goodies there. It must be Halloween in the castle. Um, yes, I took. I, it seems weird that it would that Bell would take Beast's life, but for some reason I was like, I think he does say that. Um, so I went with his heart. Um, she'll take the castle, the rose, and your life. That's probably how it went. Yeah, to make it more, he accented the third one to make it super dramatic. Um, all right, his heart. Let's see, we got Burning Mandala and Loser Barnabas moving up to 4th and 5th. I am in at 21st. Behind Bell or Kiwi? Oh my god. Oh my god, alright, number 19. When the organization returns to the round room after greeting Sora in Hollow Bastion, Zaldan is troubled by this. Sora made fun of his mind jobs. He's beginning to feel emotions, something he thought impossible. Xemnas' instructions not to engage Sora in combat, or Sora being too young to effectively wield the Keyblade. Um... <laughs> Bell's elbow is actually full of personality, which is why it bounced off of Zalda. That's right, he, he reflected it. He reflected. Yeah, this was the easy one, for sure. I remember uh, Zalda going, um, but he's just a boy or something. He is nothing but a boy. Um, so yeah, it would be really funny if Sora's like, look at you and your stupid mutton chops that I can see through the hood somehow. Um, did you go down, Oracle? If you're too slow, even if, you're, um, even if you get it right, if you're too slow, you'll go down. Because people were faster. I'm in 19th place behind your mom. <laughs> oh my god. Um, we got Burning Mondal, Loser Barnabas, and Big Stick and moving up. Fruitune still hanging on to the lead there. Magic Flash just not too far behind. There can still be an upset, folks. Number 20. <coughs> in days, Zaldin calls this plan of Xemnas' sheer madness. Um, Bringing Xion back alive, sending six members of the organization to Castle Oblivion, trying to make the Keyblade wielder's power their own, or relying so heavily on the replica program. Look at Zaldan's face. <coughs> uh. Yeah, I went with that for some reason. I think because I saw it as a false answer earlier in the quiz, and I was like, well, I don't know why Ram Sam would use a false answer like that twice, so that's why I did that, to be honest. It was only through the context of the quiz and not through my memory of Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. So, uh, I'm in 19th behind Oracle. Let's see. We got Big Stickin' and Shiverburn moving up to 4th and 5th. Number 21. In BBS, Dylan is asked by this character to grab the armor and keyblade next to Terranor. Memory test! Evan, Ansem the Wise, Alias, or Bragg. That's what happens when I talk about the fucking extraneous uh, information surrounding a previous question. It'll spoil a future one, so <laughs> this Kahoot is Kahoot kicking my ass. <laughs> Sally. Yeah, it's Bragg. He says, uh, Dylan, could you get that for me? So I did uh, say it earlier on. Um, all right, I'm in 17th behind Oopsie Daisy. 
Let's see. Everyone on the leaderboard got that one. Moving on to number 22. When he awakens in Dream Drop, Dylan, along with this other former organization member, is described as unstable. Alias, Lee, Isa, or Evan. Also, Pan Flash, thanks for the follow. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, you would think Alias because they're always partnered up, but I, I was like, that seems too too easy. Um, Lee is like already doing his own thing. Um, Ice is not there, so Evan was kind of like the de facto what was left over there. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, I am in 13th place behind Heartstopper Auto. We got Shiverburn and Loser Barnabas in 4th and 5th. Fruitune's still holding on. Oh, Alias is the one who says it. Wow, really? I do not remember that being... I just don't remember Alias talking at all in Dream Job, to be honest. That's probably like one of his two or three lines. Um, in the BBS journal description of Dylan, which of the following is Dylan not said to have? Um... Hmm... A natural talent for manipulating the hearts of others, savage looks, tremendous strength, or a silver tongue. I think I got this, to be honest. Come on. Yeah, you would think, because he seems like one of the, the beefier boys in the organization, because he's like the guard with, with Alias, but um, they never call him like explicitly strong. They, they, they're more so focused on like his cunning and his ability to speak, and I guess his savage good looks with his mutton chops. God, Zaldin sucks. <laughs> All right, I am in 12th behind Mr. King Jacob. I've definitely risen up, though. Um, I've started to get into the mind of the Whirlwind Lancer. Big stick it in fourth. Fruitune still in first there. 24. Uh, Roxas teams up with Zaldin during this boss fight. Oh. Hmm. Nova Shadow, Dark Follower, Leech Grave, or Phantom Tail? <coughs> Sorry, Nachos. Nice, yeah. I went with the Dark Follower. Um, I know Leech Grave is in Halloween Town. I don't really remember Zaldan going to Halloween Town. He might, but I don't remember fighting Leech Grave alongside Zaldan. Um, I feel like the Nova Shadow is like, uh, is that even a boss? I guess it is, but what is that, like a Neo Shadow recolor? Or is it another Dark Side recolor? I know the Dark Follower is uh, the Dark Side recolor, and I don't know what the Phantom Tail is. Auto had it as a fake answer in the last Kahoot, but I don't remember. Um, oh, Nova Shadow is with Luxord, okay. Oh, Dark Red Neo Shadow. Okay. There you go. Alright. And I thought I remembered a Dark Follower appearing in Beast Castle. So, I'm in ninth behind Rachel Rose. Wait, I'm single digits right now. Um, big Stickin' in third. Fruitune's still in the lead. It's gonna be hard to beat that at this point. I think Fruitune's got it in the bag. 25. Uh, Tetsuya Nomura dropped which of the following bits of trivia about Zaldan in an interview? Hmm. Um... Hmm. He was offered a spot in a true organization, but declined. First of the apprentices to become a nobody. Okay, that's what I went with. I just thought, like, well, we knew Blue from the games, right? Like, he, well, well, no, we did. I mean, he wasn't the literal first. It would have been Bragg, right? Um, or they kind of all just became one at once, didn't they? Like, they all kind of, like, stood around and did it together. Um... Uh, and then, like, the flight one, I was like, well, maybe, but I don't know why Nomura would feel the need to say that. Um, so yeah, him being the strongest alongside Lexius after Zemnitz and Roxas. Which is weird, because we were just saying, like, oh, they don't emphasize his strength, but I guess, like, he's at least number three or four overall, which is crazy. You would think that Syax would be above even both of them, but, um, alright. There you go. It'd be funny if they were like, hey, do you want to be in the organization? And he's like, no, I'm good. One was enough for me. That's fine. All right, we got um, only Magic Flash and Big Stick and got that. And I have moved up to eighth behind just James. Man, I'm like so close, but so far. All right, last question, number 26. Bonus question, Bell or the Rose? <laughs> the Rose, Bell, Grar, or wow, this is an extremely hard decision. Please give me a second to think. Oh my God. Boom. Um... <clears throat> Well, their initial uh, 
transformation to nobody's kiwi we don't see on screen. What? The answer was Grar? The answer is obviously Bell. He says Bell. This is terrible. This is a terrible, terrible final question. There better be no points for this. Um, when Zaldan asks Bell or the Rose, uh, B says Bell. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, tell me. Go ahead. <laughs> tell me what the right answer is, Ramsam. Elucidate to me. He says Grar? I think he says Bell. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like out of the... I mean, I guess he says Gerard first, but I guess he says Bell second. Um, pull up the Wayfinder? <laughs> the Wayfinger? <laughs> Alright, Carly, I'll pull up the Wayfinger. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Wayfinder project. I'll just play the audio. I, I Listen, I believe you, but just for the, so the people know what we're dealing with here. Bell or the Rose? Listen in, folks. Castle now! With pleasure. But I'd rather travel light. What shall I leave behind? Bell or the rose? Okay, yeah, he definitely says Grar, and then he says Bell. So listen, they're not, you know, they're both right if you ask me, but he does say Rar XD first. Holds up Spork. So random. All right, <laughs> whatever. Let's see our final leaderboard here. It is a very large pause, though. I forgot how how uh, pregnant that pause was. So it was Dr. Audio. <laughs> all right, all right, let's see. In third place, bronze medal to Big Stickin, 17 out of 26. Silver medal, 20 out of 26 for Magic Flash. And first place, gold medal, 20 out of 26 to the great Fruitune, baby. And in fourth, Burning Mandala and Mr. Shiverburn in fifth. Many of these people have made cahoots for me. In fact, three of them, I think. So congrats. Look at that. You make the cahoot. You just know how it works. Um, so, congratulations. I'm gonna say 28% <laughs> correct on the Zaldan Kahoot. That's gonna be my guess here. 35? Well, I'm always so off on these. Uh, 14 difficult questions, no surprise there. The hardest one was the, uh, the bit of trivia about Zaldan there from Nomura. And then the easiest of the hardest was this uh, Zaldan became a nobody to rid himself of human emotions. There you go. <coughs> yes, everyone uh, say thank you to Ramsam for making this for us. Ramsam has a Vexen Kahoot for us uh, on Friday. That'll be the next Ramsam installment. Um, for those of you who need to hop out, thanks for joining. We'll have another Kahoot on Thursday at 6. That'll be David Russell's Beginner Mode Music Trivia. Pretty excited for that one. And then, like I said, Vexen's on Friday at 6. Programming note, Friday stream instead of Saturday. And then uh, a week from today, Tyler Wallace's Odd One Out Kahoot, Tuesday at 6. So look forward to those. But we're not done playing on stream we're definitely done with kahoot and we're definitely not doing dream job distance we're playing cage one baby let's go 